what's up y'all so it is six something in the morning i've been up since like 3 30 i have come back to the dialysis clinic clinic as a dialysis tech um someone just asked me what made you want to come back to this mess i was like it's not mess i'm like first of all i don't want to work for anyone <laughs> just be real um but um i came to the conclusion that in 2020 i came to the conclusion that if i'm going to work a job then i at least want to like what i do and um compared to what i was doing i did not like it so i'm gonna back up a little bit i started as a dialysis technician in 2019 uh in november 2019 and i did that up to february of 2020. um i was burnt out to the max um i could not see any other solution besides leaving that position i did not want to leave the company but i was like i need to leave this position now i felt like i was going to lose it um, now looking back at it, um, that was not the best way to handle it. If anything, I should have just took like a week off of work and really assessed, fasted, prayed to the Lord Jesus on what to do. Um, but at the same time, everything works together, um, for the good. So, um, I feel like now that that wasn't a mistake to be home um because i got to learn my family i got to engage with my family more at the time i was living with my parents still so i got to get to know them we have bonded and got to know each other and all that good stuff so um and with my nephew as well i talk about him a lot because that's my baby um and my nieces and just you know you really look if 2020 didn't do anything, it made me look at life completely different and the people in my life different, um, whether that mean I needed to cut somebody off or keep somebody. But anyways, I'm here to talk about why I came back to the dialysis floor or what happened, um, because I feel like this will help someone that's dealing with trying to make a decision on whether or not they should leave their position, their job or stay. So, and I also follow this Facebook page on um this this dialysis tech page on Facebook, but it's very negative. Like people, oh, oh, it irritates my soul. It irritates me so much that it's just a bunch of complaining. Um, and so, and I used to do it. I used to be that way. Um, or sarcasm, like oh, it annoys me. So. Now, like when he was like, what made you want to come back to this mess? It's not mess. I was like, it's not mess. Um, I like it compared to what I was doing. I, I, So what I was doing was I went from the dialysis tech to the revenue center for dialysis. Um, and it's not what you think. It's collections, but it's not what you think. Like I personally did not um, contact patients. And I'm so glad I did it because I didn't want to harass them because I came from the floor. So I, I, I firsthand got the conversations of what it was like to not have insurance and, you know, deal with all of the, the almost be like a therapist for the patients or a counselor and just really listen to them. Um, listen to them, not really advise them because I didn't know a lot of what to tell them besides, you know, talk to your social worker or whatnot. But um so i did that and then i with the revenue center you know we were home once corona hit hard we came home after maybe a month so i started in february by like the beginning of march they had us with equipment and sent us home now being at home working from home um is bittersweet <laughs> for me so because of, I know this with my personality, I'm like ping ponging all over the place. Um, I have to be, I have to get some type of structure. And even just sitting at the computer for eight whole hours, I can't do it. I, I just, 
I can't do it. I mean, I'm sitting at the computer right now, but I work the floor a little bit. I, I can't do a lot because I'm still in training. I'm still in the beginning of my training. So I can string machines and that's about it. But um, I did that for them and I knew that, that helped tremendously because <laughs> uh, my trainer, my preceptor, she got sent to another clinic and because their opener quit this morning. So I just say that to say like, whatever job you do, don't necessarily think about the money. Um, think about like, if you're getting ready to leave your job, think about all the whys of why you want to leave your job. Is it people? Cause I, I had to deal with people too. Um, before I left like that, ir certain people irritate me, but I didn't leave four people because I had made up my mind that it's not going to be about people. I'm leaving because I want to and when I want to. Because um, I had made it about people. But, like, it's a long story, but we'll get into it. Maybe that'll be another conversation. But I made it about people at one point. And so, you know, a few months before I left, I was like, it's, ain't, it's, not, it's about me and what I feel like I need and what I felt like uh, my family needed at the time. Um, so yeah, but the revenue center is, it's, it's for, to me, working for home, certain work from home jobs are for people that don't want to be bothered with people. And they're for people that, um, have children I think that that's a good job for people that have children because a lot of people are at home with their kids right now so um and I didn't necessarily have, I mean I had my nephew when I was with my parents but I'm not with my parents anymore I don't live with them anymore so I don't have him anymore so it was beneficial for that um and it's also you know convenient like who wants to get out and drive around nobody Especially not in traffic. What? Like, clock out. Clock out at four, five, six, whatever. And you're already home? Yeah. So, it was bittersweet. Um, but I will say that I enjoy being back in the clinic. Because um, I realized with my personality that, you know, I want to be around people. And I'm also in school for nursing. I'm in school. I'm in nursing school. Um, yeah, I'm taking my prereqs, but I always call it nursing school because that's a part of it because that's where I'm going. Period. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I hope this helps someone. If you're ready to quit, I don't know if you're dialysis tech or whatever you, what, whatever position that you may be in, um, really assess why you want to quit. And if you need to quit, then analyze, like, okay, just have a plan. Because even when I left, like once I started working at the revenue center, I was happy. I felt like I was, you know, taking a break for a second from the clinic. But I went from running around in the clinic to, <laughs> to a cubicle, to a box. It's almost like, and I'm not referring to myself as a dog or whatever, but it's almost like, taking a dog letting them be in the free open in their own um backyard and then putting them in a kennel like forever that's how i feel i feel like it was forever that's dramatic but that's just how i felt but i don't want to make this video too long but just think of just assess what you really like really think about it um yeah you can make moves but i'm very glad that i came back so and if you guys have any questions about dialysis what it's like to be a dialysis technician what it's like to work for um a dialysis company um and even you know kidney disease or whatever uh and any types of questions like that um just let me know leave them down in the comments or you can hit me up on my social media channels at um, Ebony for Instagram and Ebony Princeton for Facebook. And I'll put those links at the bottom. Peace. I hope you have a good day. Bye.